Hey girls, welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a simplistic fall themed manicure that does look very classy. So I do already have the base of my nails done for this manicure. For this, I do have a dip powder over nail tips and I use the Kira Sky Color Sweet as Pie. This is a cover all-in-one acrylic powder. This color is absolutely gorgeous. I really love it. I do think that this is one of my new top favorite nudes from Kira Sky. I will be using Kira Sky's Lavender LED Nail Lamp. I love mine. I use it all the time. It works perfectly. I am just going to start this nail art design with the matte gel top coat. I personally do love to do my nail art over a very smooth surface, so applying the matte gel top coat before the nail art does give me a very smooth surface. So I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that the nails I will be doing today is a recreation nail set from Nails Slayed by Val here on YouTube. I've seen this video, she created them as press-ons. I was absolutely obsessed with how the nails turned out. Of course, I did want to change the accent nail since I do not have nail charms like that. So this is the inspo for today's nail art. If you guys do want to go and check her out, I will have her YouTube channel linked down below. After applying the gel top coat, I did wipe the sides of the nail just to try to keep the shape of the nail looking as best as possible. And I did go ahead and do a 60 second cure under the nail lamp. I will be taking the gel art liner. This is the white one. It is called white canvas. Taking the white gel liner, I'm just going to start on the side of my nail towards the skin and I'm going to draw a straight line going towards the center of the free edge. I did repeat that same thing on the opposite side of the nail as well. I personally like to do this a little bit further out than I think I need it. That way I can gradually build up the lines just to try to get it as straight and as even as possible. Once I created the lines of the V-tip, I did go ahead and take the same gel liner color to fill in the corners of the nail. Once I have the nail design like I want, I did go ahead and do a full cure, and I'm going to go ahead and repeat the exact same thing for the middle, pinky, and thumbnail. Next, I am taking the gel polish color called Peel and Good. I think that name is really cute. It's not super vibrant, but it's not a burnt orange color. I really don't know how else to describe it other than a really good orange color. I'm going to take this gel polish and apply it to the ring fingernail. After applying the first layer of gel polish, I did go ahead and do a 30 second cure. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat the exact same thing for the second layer of gel polish. I am applying two layers to get the perfect color opacity. I did go ahead and cure that layer under the nail lamp. Next, I am taking Kira Sky's Bling It On Rhinestones. These are the color Sugar Rush. I do also have the rhinestone applicator. These rhinestones are an absolutely gorgeous color and I feel like they would probably be the best ones that I have for this nail set. I did go ahead and pour some out on the table. I did actually separate some of the smaller ones since I'm not going to be using the bigger ones. I am going to be applying these rhinestones into the uncured velvet matte gel top coat layer just because I'm not really worried about these rhinestones lasting because I don't plan to wear this set very long. So I'm just taking the matte gel top coat and I'm applying a layer to the thumbnail. Before curing, I am taking the applicator and I'm just picking up some of these smaller rhinestones and I'm going to be placing five of these at the cuticle of the thumbnail. Once I have the rhinestones placed, I did go ahead and cure. 
I'm going to repeat the same thing for the middle and the pinky nail. For the middle fingernail, instead of placing the rhinestones at the cuticle area, I'm actually going to be placing them at the tip of the nail in the center of the V tip. For the pinky, I will be doing the same thing as the thumbnail. I did go ahead and cure under the nail lamp just to make sure I do not ruin the placement of the rhinestones. And I'm going back with the matte gel top coat and I'm applying a layer to the ring and the index fingernail. Once again, I am going to go ahead and do a full cure under the nail lamp. I am going to be using the Kira Sky Dappen Dish just to place some gel polish on. I did not have my nail art palette clean, so I just decided to use whatever was closest to me, which was the Dappen Dish. I do have this clear iridescent glitter, which I am going to be pouring over top of the gel polish. I am just taking a gel art liner brush that is clean. I am dipping it into the orange gel polish and I'm going to go ahead and draw a straight line down the center of the index nail. This line is going to go from the cuticle all the way down to the center of the V-tip. I am taking my cuticle pusher and picking up the glitter, I am going to pour that over the uncured gel. Originally, I was planning to do an orange fine glitter over the gel polish, but I actually do not have orange fine glitter, so I ended up using this one and it did turn out really cute as well. After tapping away the excess glitter, I did go ahead and straighten up the line just to make sure the glitter is as straight as possible. And of course, I did go ahead and do a full cure under the nail lamp. After the nail is fully cured, I am taking a stiff manicure brush just to remove all of the extra glitter that is the finished index nail. So I am going back with the white canvas gel liner and the all-in-one acrylic powder called Snow Bunny. This is a white acrylic powder that can be used as dip powder as well. I am taking the white gel liner and I am making sure to remove all of the extra polish from the brush just to give me a very precise line. So for this step of the process, I am just starting with the middle fingernail and I'm going to be doing a line outlining the V-tip. I am making sure not to get any polish on the rhinestones. I will admit I kind of did this in a backward step. You typically want to apply your rhinestones at the very end. After doing the V-tip outline, I'm going to move over just a little bit and do another line that is parallel to the outline of the V-tip. So in between those two lines that I just created, I'm going to go ahead and do kind of like a Z motion. This is going to be part of the sweater nail design. This was probably the hardest part of this nail design because you do have a very small area to work with. You also want to be very precise to try to get the nail art to look as best as possible. After doing the Z shapes inside of those two first lines, I did go towards the right of the nail and I'm going to be doing some diagonal lines going off of the nail. I will be doing the exact same thing on the other side of the V tip as well. So once I have the nail art design like I want, I am taking a cuticle pusher and the white all-in-one acrylic powder. I am just pouring that directly over the uncured gel. I did go ahead and do a full cure under the nail lamp. Once the gel is fully cured, you do want to take a stiff manicure brush to remove all of the extra powder from the nail. I am going to go ahead and repeat the exact same process to the pinky and the thumbnail. So I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that I am in the process of creating some newer content, some products that you guys have never seen on my YouTube channel before. It will not be on my next YouTube video, but I do believe the video after that I should have some new products to show you guys. I am so excited. I cannot wait to create some beautiful nails with these new products. So if you're not already, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys do not miss out on that content. And also, my birthday is next weekend on the 12th, so I have to go ahead and start planning out my birthday nail set. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing at the moment yet, but I am really excited. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using some of the new products. Shout out to all of the Scorpios. Leave your birthday down below. I would love to know if you are a Scorpio.
I do believe I have forgot to mention, but Kira Sky is sponsoring me for this video, and I do want to go ahead and thank them for that. If you guys do not know, I am part of the Kira Sky Ambassador Program. So if you guys are interested to purchase any of these items that I'm using, everything will be linked down below. You can also use my discount code KCNails to save a little bit of money on your purchase. So for the ring finger nail design, this did not actually end up working, but let me go ahead and walk you through the process anyway. So I did take the same orange gel polish color and a fine liner brush, and I'm going to go ahead and draw some pumpkins on the nail. My fault for this nail was to do a hidden nail art design with pumpkins, so I just started by drawing out some pumpkins with the same orange gel liner color. At the end of the nail art, I did end up sprinkling over some clear all-in-one acrylic powder. I did go ahead and cure the nail art under the nail lamp, and I did remove all of the extra powder. I thought this did look pretty good, but it looked better in person than it did on camera. It just really wasn't picking it up like I wanted it to. So I ended up going back with the same orange gel liner color and going over the same pumpkins again. But before I cured that layer of gel polish, I did go back with the same glitter that I used for the index nail, and I went ahead and poured the glitter over the uncured gel. Once I applied the glitter, I did go ahead and cure. Of course, after I cured, I did remove all of the extra glitter. So this is how the nail turned out. Not my best, not my favorite, but I do really like it. So the last step of the manicure is to take the cuticle oil. This is the rose scent, and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to all of the cuticles. So here are the nails. Really cute and simple fall themed nails. Yes, pumpkin is mainly for October, but pumpkins do run through the entire season of fall. Let me know what you think of this nail design down below in the comments. Do make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, don't forget to hit subscribe because I do post weekly videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.